Yeah, there's just there are a tremendous number of distortions in that respect, right? I mean, the, the certain parts of the stock market are represent. They certainly don't. I mean, the stock market and the real economy don't really represent. You know, they don't really go together all that well to begin with. I mean, the stock market is whatever the stock market is. But in normal boom cycles, you would expect that businesses that are doing well, I mean, at least before 2007, businesses that did well got reflected in some stock prices. They at least um, expanded their own productive operations and, you know, they hired people and, you know, look forward to an opportunistic future. Whereas this AI bubble kind of you kind of get the opposite sense to it. You know, they're, they're building lots of stuff. That's for sure. I mean, they're these big, the, a lot of big businesses are pouring trem tremendous amounts of dollars into you know, AI infrastructure and build out. So, I mean, that's happening. Um, there is definitely some component in the real economy from the AI boom. You just, there's questions about how much of that is, how much of that there is and whether or not it can be sustainable beyond, you know, the current uptrend in the stock market, which I think a lot of people are correctly surmising that it, it, it reveals and, re, and looks a lot like, you know, the dot-com transition, which means that um, once the rug gets pulled out of in the short run, once the rug gets pulled out of the bubble, what happens to that one last economic pillar? 